here is my new ladybird. I'm excited to uh, put the ready-made RC Micro Pico FPV system on there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get that out of here somehow. Oh, we got different colors. Guess I got a green one. Got the V2, that's why. Blah, blah, blah. Comes with a cheesy controller, but I don't know. Some of the reviews I've seen on YouTube, they said it did okay. So, trust me, it's easy. <clears throat> First time I opened the box. I got some spare props, which I don't know if it came with any or not, but got those. Got a couple spare batteries. I tried two different sizes here. Got a 300 and a 260. Uh, let's see what else we get. There's that thing. <clears throat> I like how it's sad. Sad ladybird. We got spare props, so I got more than enough of those. Bind plug. Fancy screwdriver. Ooh. The factory battery. 240 milliamp. Weird connector on it. <clears throat> Not sure what you do with that. It must be for this little cheesy charger. Charger. There's that thing. Let's get that off of there. Takes double A's, I believe. <clears throat> Four of them. Okay, we'll deal with that in a bit. Let's get this thing out of here. <clears throat> There's a manual. pieces. Got these from Hobby King. Just hit my doorstep. <coughs> Excuse me. Seriously like five minutes ago. So there's all that stuff. That's uh We'll come back once I get some batteries charged, get some batteries in the transmitter, and we'll figure out how to bind it up and make it all work. Alright, let's see if we can make it go. Been kind of struggling with making it go properly lately. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. and it keeps flashing. See it? Then when I move the throttle stick, it used to work. So I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. Nothing. So I turn 
this off and back on. Now it connected. Doesn't make sense to me. Kind of windy out here probably for this little guy. Dual rate, pretty slow. Let's go try the other flight mode and see what that does, huh? Ah, good thing it's durable. <clears throat> okay, now change flight modes, unplug it. Full throttle, plug it back in. Wait for the red and green lights. There they are. Joggle the elevator. Now we're to green. Throttle down. Should be ready to fly. Let's see what that did. Whoa! She's way touchier now. I might do a flip. <laughs> wow. See that? Did flips. Huh. Wow. That's pretty cool. Battery doesn't like the cold though. Dual mode, we got low rate, high rate. That's full throttle right now, we better land. I like that green light, aerobatic mode, very cool. Okay, we're gonna put the big turn of G300 in there. We'll see, see how that works. See if it's too big, maybe, I don't know. One thing to check though, is to make sure your polarity's right. <clears throat> I had to change the pins. Green lights go, let's find out. Oh wow, you got some power now. Look at that, huh? Wow. That's pretty wild. Nice. Wind makes it a little mad. Let's see how low we can flip it. Oh, got behind it. Little battery came out. Very cool. Very, very cool. Definitely like it. Definitely like it. Whoa! I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yep. 
Yuck. Maybe just going a little too fast. Too fun. Yeah, this one's a winner. Yeah, pretty stable, like, very cool, very, very cool. Whoa! I don't know why it does that. Doesn't like to do super hard, fast turn there in that mode, I guess. <clears throat> I bet you I could throw it up in the air and it'll probably stabilize. Ha! Kinda like my Nano QX. Whoa! I did it again. <clears throat> Maybe I'm working it a little too hard. Oh, now we broke a motor. Crap. Okay, guess we're done for today.